I've always really been a wild child. The odd one out, the one that's never really got it. You know how a screen could change a life or how someone could let it be so. But in a way, the nature is but beautiful, watching it all fade away. When a sunset rides another day, and though a day is something we pray for, with the day and other trees cut down, and other fields paved over, but I'd rather be in Mother Nature's arms before she leaves than be invested in a screen and walk right past her gates. I would say that I've been feeling lost and unsure of myself and what I want. I feel like my mind itself is just floating in the vicinity of areas where I'd rather be somewhere else. But coming here, I'm able to come down by the pull of gravity and feel in place. I finally feel like I'm whole. I have nothing to worry for. I don't remember why I first came here. I remember that something was wrong and that I needed to be as far away from everything as possible. I wandered around until I made it here. It happened again and again and again, almost like a routine. It's quiet here, just the birds, me, the tree, the water, the birds. Thank you, peace. I feel like in reality, you're expected to know what you want. Reality is like a game or a race. It's every man for himself. In most cases, I would feel as though I could never keep up with everyone. I was always a beat behind. That's why I feel the way I do, unsure of where I stand as an individual. But here, none of it seems to matter. I can escape from it all. But sometimes you can't go up to your spot in the sky. Sometimes you're stuck down in the world because people don't recognize that your place in the sky is yours, and they rip it from you, just like a band-aid, because it's easy for them. Three, two, one. The band-aid's off. It's their space now. Like a nomad, I'm in a new place. Maybe not in the sky, but a place in nature's grasp. Maybe I've put too much hope in it. Maybe I shouldn't have been so attached to one single place. Trees get cut down, water and wind weather things down to nothing. From dust to dust or whatever. It all has to end eventually. But I'll find somewhere new, I hope. I have to, right? One foot in front of the other. That's how I got here in the first place. But there were other people there. Other beings excluded from the rest. Maybe not explorers or wild ones, but a lost child and someone who needed to escape from the world we fall in. But when they call places, we don't quite care about the show. We don't quite know our blocking. Or just don't like the show at all.